All right, and our next situation is we've got eight teams that have 24 players. Okay, eight teams. I guess I could put this on here to help you out. Okay, eight teams equal 24 players. I want to know if we have 20 teams, how many players does that make? Okay, so we're going to use ratio operations to figure this out. And when you do the problems on your assignment for today, I want to make sure you're using ratio operations. So I'm going to flip this around and I'm going to start my chart again, okay, because I think it's really helpful. Okay. Um, we'll put teams here and players here. And we know that eight teams is 24 players. And we want to know eventually what 20 teams is going to be. Okay. We could start how we started the last one. The last one we just added up. Okay. Uh, eight. And if you're going to add, you got to add the number that the ratio you're using. So we're using 8 to 24. So 8 becomes 16. 8 plus 8 is 16. We're adding on 16. Now we just need to add on 24 in this column. We'd have 48. Now, the problem we're going to get here is if we add another 8 onto this, we're going to be up to 24 here. Okay. And then if we add 24 onto here, we're going to be at, let's see, what would that be? 72. Okay. This is too big. Okay. This 24 to 72 is too much. We only need 20 teams. So we got to step back and figure something out here. Uh, one thing that I like to do is we could work backwards a little bit here. From our start, we know it's 8 to 24. So we can go backwards a little bit here, and I'm going to do some division. Okay, I'm going to write this a little smaller, the T and the P up here, because we're going to work backwards a little bit. Okay, I'm going to cut both of these numbers in half, or I'm going to divide by 2. If I divide both of these by 2, remember when you divide, you've got to do the same thing to both of them. Okay, It's not like adding on or subtracting, where you add on 8 and add on 24. You've got to do the same thing to both. So if I cut both of these in half, I'm going to get every four teams it has 12 players okay this is nice because now I'm no longer going to use this one okay I'm going to use the 4 to 12 okay because to go from 16 to the 20 that we need we need to add on 4 so I'm going to add on 4 to the 16 to get to 20 now, I need to know how much to add on to the 48. And for every 4, there's 12 players. So I need to add on the 12 to this. 48 plus 12 is going to be 60. So our answer to this one is going to be 20 to 60. Okay. For every 20 teams, there's 60 players. Okay. Now, we're going to back up a little bit. We know our answer right now is 60 players. Okay. But again... And the ways that I'm showing you to do this, there are so many ways to do this, okay? Just uh, limitless numbers. So make sure that you keep that in mind, okay? There's not just always one way to do this. So I'm going to back up the truck all the way up to, mm, let's go all the way back up to our 8 to 24, okay? And we got to get down to 20. Um, teams, players. So we need to get to 20 here. So I'm going to divide and make this something that goes nice and easy into 20. I'm going to make this 2 by using division. So I'm going to divide this by what to get to? I'm going to divide by 4, and I'm going to get 2. Okay. I'm going to do the same thing to this one. If you divide by 4 here, you have to divide by 4 here. So now I'm going to end up with 6. So my new ratio is 2 teams is 6 players. Now I have to get up to 20 teams using this. And I could just simply count by 2 in this column, count by 6 in this column, uh, and eventually we're going to end up with 20 and 60. Okay. That's a definite possibility. You can do that. You can just keep adding up. There's nothing wrong with that. If you're good with your factors and your multiples, we can figure out something to multiply to get from 2 to 20. 
So to get from 2 to 20, I know 2 to 20 is just going to be times 10. So I have to times the other number by the exact same thing. Okay, uh, 6 times 10 is going to be 60. And we have our answer. We have 20 teams equal up to 60 players. Okay. Now the last thing I want to show you quick here. We've got a lot of different ratios that we've uncovered. Okay, we've uncovered the 8 to 24. Okay, um, so I'll just single this one off here. We've also uncovered the, what was it? We did 4 to 12 because we cut them both in half. Okay, we also did the 2 to 6 and cut those in half. If you've got a lot of different ones that you can add up to the correct number, use them. Okay, we know that this column's got to equal 20. So for this column to equal 20, we're going to need some combination of these. Okay, I could have five fours is going to get us 20. I could have two eights would be 16, and two twos would be four more, which would be 20. You could do a lot of different things. So here's what I'm going to do. Down here to get my 20, I'm just going to use a combination of these numbers that's going to total up to 20 and put the number of players beside it. Uh, so maybe I'll do this. I'll do an 8, 24. I'll do a 4 and 12. I'll do a 2 and 6. I'll do a 2 and 6. So far we've got 8, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And I'll go back to a 4 and 12 because we need to make it up to 20. Okay. Now we can just simply add these together. Okay. If I add this column together, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16 plus 4 is, there's our 20 teams. Okay. Now, if we have the number of players that go with each one of them, we can just add those up too. Um, 6 and 6 is going to be 12. Another 12 would be 24. Another 12 would be 36. 36 plus 24 is 60, which is what we came up with before also. So please, as you're doing these, um, be flexible. Okay, there's a lot of different choices that you have. Now, before we quit, I want to check and make sure we're right. I think we are, but I want to check and make sure. So I'm going to go back to the very first one we started with here. We started with 8 equals 24. So I'm going to put this right here. Okay, 8 over 24. And it should, if we divide those out, um, it should come out to uh, the same thing that it would if you divide 20 and 60. So I'll do 20 and 60 right here. So 8 divided by 24 on a calculator. I'm going to get 0.3, lots of 3s. 20 divided by 60. If I do that on a calculator, I get the same thing. 0.3 with a line over. Since those things are the same, pretty good shot uh, that we did a good job in identifying this and getting it correct.